After I lost my sight for 14 years, I really didn't do anything at all because I was scared to death. I didn't leave the house. I just kind of muddled around the house and did what I needed to do, just, you know, to survive. At Outlook Nebraska, our mission is to make a positive impact on the visually impaired, and that's done through employment and enrichment programs, including teen rec and technology training and cultural experiences. Our hope is to help people who are visually impaired have a more enriching life. Ken Blackman, I'm a finisher too on first shift. When I was 10 years old, I was uh, diagnosed with diabetes, and in my early 20s, uh, they diagnosed me with diabetic retinopathy, which means my retinas were starting to fail on me. And then in 1994 is when I lost my sight due to that disease. I had it stuck in my head that I was not gonna leave my hometown, I was not gonna leave the house. I was gonna try to find work at home, but there was just weren't any options at all. And I knew I had to do something. I had to get back into the workforce and earn a paycheck, I had to do something. And that's, that was the hardest thing, just leaving and leaving that comfort zone. That was very, very hard to do for me. After I bridged that and got over that and started at ONI, that's the big change right there. I had no computer skills at all. I jumped right on board with that. So I learned how to use the computer. I can do all my stuff at home. And now I'm currently taking lessons to learn how to use my smartphone. So that completely opened up a whole new world for me. I built my self-esteem, my self-confidence. I was beginning to feel like the old me before I lost my sight. And it just felt good to come to work, to be a productive citizen, being able to get a paycheck, support my family, and just kind of do the things I wanted to do. Outlook Nebraska really made a commitment to expand from employment into enrichment and community services, and we just need the community to join us in that commitment to bridge these gaps for people who are visually impaired.